So here we're going to learn about the rough and smooth endoplasmic reticulum, typically referred to as the rough and the smooth ER. You kind of see a comparison between the two animals here of having a very rough textured skin and a very smooth texture. So that rough, what makes it rough, what makes it smooth, well, it is based on the texture, but really what gives the rough ER that rough um, kind of texture is the ribosomes that it is kind of like studded on. It's kind of like attached to the outside, giving it that rough appearance. The smooth has very few ribosomes, giving it that much smoother, more consistent look. So within that endoplasmic reticulum, it's a system of membranes and channels, of saccules, which are just these flattened kind of vesicles uh, are continuous with the outer membrane of the nuclear envelope. So we're kind of going from the nucleus and we're just leaving the nucleus when we hit the endoplasmic reticulum. In particular, this rough ER um, is studded with ribosomes on the um, cytoplasmic side and this allows for protein production. So this is the synthesizing or the creation or making of those proteins. It also uh, allows for proteins to be modified and processed. They can be, sugars can be added, resulting in glycoproteins. So this rough ER with these ribosomes is especially abundant in cells that secrete a lot of proteins, which makes sense because it's the site of protein production. As a polypeptide, uh, it's synthesized in a ribosome attached to the rough ER. It's uh, threaded into the cysterial space. So what you'll notice in this picture is kind of this high degree of surface area, a lot of these folds. Um, this allows for a lot of these ribosomes to be packed in in a very small area. Uh, these folds kind of create its shape, and this is a very efficient uh, shape as well. I mentioned these glycoproteins. So a protein with a glycogroup. So proteins with a carbohydrate. You can think of like a protein with glucose attached, for example. It's an example of a carbohydrate. These um, proteins are packaged, packaged into transport these kind of vesicles, these carrying mediums uh, that can go to the next stage. So while information is coming out of the nucleus going into the ER, not necessarily finished when it leaves here. It may have one more step to fin finalize that. And this rough ER is a, a membrane factory as well. These membrane-bound proteins are synthesized directly into the membrane itself. So it's kind of like this system working together. Uh, these enzymes in the rough ER also synthesize the phospholipids from precursors in the cytosol of the cell. Now the smooth ER, you can see kind of this picture right here, a little bit of a contrast, if you will, uh, very smooth in appearance, but still has a lot of folds because there's basically no ribosomes. Synthesis of lipids occurs and it forms transport vesicles uh, on the site of various synthetic processes. It can also detoxify and store things. So the smooth ER does have vital functions. Specifically, um, storing metabolizing uh, carbohydrates for the smooth ER uh, could synthesize and transport lipids, which are fats, and detoxify poisons and drugs such as alcohol in the liver. So liver, very important filter. Well, it contains a lot of this kind of smooth ER. Uh, it can break down stored glucose, and it can help store calcium ions uh, in muscles. So this ER, this smooth ER, is found in a lot of cells and performs a lot of vital functions for our cell.